Okay, so after 10 minutes or so, you'll notice that your ATP instance will be up and running. And you can see that uh, using uh, this um, green available uh, status, which shows that your um, uh, database is up and running. And it was it was pretty quick. Right. So now in this video, we shall talk about how you can connect to this ATP database. As I uh, told you previously, uh, the connection is quite different uh, or the way you connect to the database is quite different as compared to if you are uh, connecting to a database which is based on a VM or base service or a bare metal based service or uh, which is based on the Excel data. So what you have to do in uh, autonomous databases is you need to go to DB connection. So very important important all the connections are done using a uh, wallet so you have to download the client uh, you have to download the wallet and when you download the wallet you have to specify a specific password as well so you need the password before downloading the wallet and I'll show you how it is done so you just simply uh, let me go back you just simply click on the very first tab which shows DB connection and then uh, you pick here wallet type which is instance wallet and you say download wallet right as I told you it'll ask you for the password clearly says database connections to the autonomous database use secure connection uh, as you might remember when autonomous databases were released it was clearly stated by Oracle that the security is utmost importance in the autonomous databases that's why you'll see that the database connections use uh, a secure connection so it's not a straightforward 1521 port and you uh, connect on that no it doesn't work like that so and you have to create a password so I'll give a password normal password and I say download okay so you'll see that it'll actually download uh, the wallet for me in the form of a zip file now this is done and uh, these are these are some of the connection strings uh, that are available like if you want to use the high mode the medium low all these different connection strings are there right okay now uh, what we need to do is we need to make a connection using SQL developer. So let's go and connect to SQL developer. Uh, now what you have to do is uh, um, you have to say uh, create a new connection and what you do is in new connection you give ATP and it's any connection name anyway so I'm saying ATP and uh, you give the username as admin you might remember when we created the autonomous database it asked that there will be admin user and you need to specify the password so give the same password which you specified when you created uh, the admin user so I'll say Okay, quite important. Here you need to change uh, the connection type uh, from basic and you have to say cloud wallet. See, this uh, category has already been changed in SQL developer. So just uh, um, um, ensure that the version of SQL developer that you are having, it should have this option. Connection uh, type should be cloud wallet, right? And uh, you just say browse and you choose your wallet. So here I've chosen the wallet which I downloaded and in, in here you have the options that if you want to go for the low uh, mode, medium mode, high mode and all these uh, details were actually there on the console side as well which I actually showed you. So let's uh, choose the ATP 18 underscore high mode and as we normally do we just uh, do a test nice one so uh, our test has succeeded so we can now make a connection let's try and connect to our ATP uh, 18 and see how it goes. So ATP 18, as you can see, it's uh, been connected. If I do a select star from V dollar version. So let's see what version we have. So it, you can clearly see that it's an 18C database. It's 18.4.0. Uh, and normally, uh, if you want, you can always have a look at what kind of parameters you have. So do something like order by one. You can you can have a look. Okay, what what kind of parameters uh, have been specified, right? So all these parameters, or even you could uh, give it by name, just in case you are interested. Because as I said, that a lot of things are not in your control. So just want to, if you just want to have a look, that what are, what are the different parameters, then you can just simply go through uh, all the different parameters and see uh, what what all options have been given because uh, none of them were uh, under uh, your control right and if you uh, see just have a look at the database name it is uh, feno one pod you you, uh, you you didn't select this name but it is something that is uh, actually there right for you so what what i feel is that it's actually a container database somewhere and in that oracle is actually creating a 
pluggable databases for us. That's why uh, the provisioning is so quick. When you say uh, create a new database for me, it just provisions a new PDB for you and gives, gives it to you. So you can also check something like CDB underscore PDBs and see uh, what, uh, what output do you get. So let's see, uh, you can clearly see it's a uh, pluggable database name. So it's, uh, it's actually appended my uh, database name, which is ATP18 to whatever unique name it is creating. And it is getting appended onto the name that I chose, which is ATP18. And rest of the information you can clearly see here that it's uh, basically a container database somewhere in which our PDB has been created. So guys, yeah, all I wanted to show you was that things are quite different when you are provisioning or when you're connecting to your uh, autonomous databases. So uh, keep these things in mind. Keep watching and hope you're enjoying these new videos.